do. Let us get cooking. Oh, my, my tech is struggling. I will play first. I don't like mulliganing against the Thoughtseize decks anyway. Uh, this is a bit anemic, but it is fine. Like, it needs, needs a little bit of help to uh, really get ticking, but it's not bad by any stretch. Tap land for opponent, land for us. So we can stone coil for two and just start getting the beatdowns on here. Uh, or we can pelt collector, Agadeem's tapped. Which I think I prefer, honestly. Make sure we get our black source into play before we get thought seized. This is better if we draw winding constrictor as well. So opponent has... Okay, need to stop drawing lands now. Opponent has two eliminates and uh, a fatal push and an ether gust in this spot. So we're not playing into gust anyway, so that doesn't matter. Stone coil it is. Triggers. Almost certainly Growth Spiral most of the time. They might have a Tails End, but Tails End doesn't do anything against us outside of uh, Lurus itself. It can counter like a Luminarch Aspirant Trigger if you really like, but it's basically always going to be Growth Spiral. Uh, this is the kind of board that Cry of the Canarium still does something, unfortunately. So, oh god, that's even worse. They had the one of Expertise. Oh. One of expertise. Feels bad, dude. Draws a mails from Pulse. I thought we were decent against... Uh... Oh, I gotta double check what that is real quick. Awoken Giant, thank you very much for the follow. I appreciate that. It means a lot. Uh, thank you, thank you. Uh, and we are currently 4-0, Paxendale. We're one of the only people that are 4-0. Just focusing on the game at the second. Um, what do... I think I have to thought Seize to play around this. Uh, they had the cry as well. Jesus. It just has to go. We we're in really bad shape here. That that expertise was savage. I play. I did my best to play around Cry of the Canarium and got blown the fuck out. Opponent misses on their asset, that's always helpful. God, that expertise, dude. <laughs> like, oh, it's so rough. They get, oh, they bog me as well? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> How do you draw a land and it's still bad for me? Oh, that sucks so much balls. How does my opponent draw a land and it still sucks for me? God. Okay, this is looking looking pretty bad. Game two it is. That expertise was brutal. It was so, so brutal. Okay, well, we know how we sideboard against Saltite at this point. 
Uh, we bring in uh, Shape of Sanctuaries, Noxious Grafts, and we cut Conclave Mentors and Blood Chief's Thirst. Oh, that was that sucked so bad. I thought we'd done the right thing by playing around Cry, and I still think I did. But opponent having Grove Spiral into the, the one-of expertise is pretty dick-busting, I'll be honest. That one's gnarly. <laughs> Alright. Game two. Let us focus on game two. Oh, well, the round time has started, according to my eardrum. It's good to know. <laughs> Reassuring. I will play first. This is definitely a keep. Thoughtseize is a little bit rough for this hand to handle, but uh, no more so than the average six. Aspirant. Okay, so now my, my plays are pretty obvious. I just have to... Use all my mana every turn. As best I can. Uh, unfortunately, so I get this out of cry range. Uh, I think I'm supposed to get it out of expertise range as well. So, Aspirant, Sanctuary. Opponent should pop a kill spell in response here if they've got it. Does pop the Knight. Got to hope to not see Cry of the Canarium, in which case uh, I'm going to play around Cry. Going to load up the one that can attack to a 3-3. Not get myself cried. I'd be surprised if opponent left it in, to be honest. It's, it's really not very good in the matchup, but they don't necessarily know that uh, because... No one has played this matchup before except for me many, many times. All right, Uro. Uh, is that a good one, chat? Feels like a good one. Feels, feels like a goodie. Feels like a goodie. All right. Uh, does my opponent have any extinction events? No, not that I can see. Let me double check. No, I don't believe they have any. So, should be fine. But either on your Henny's expertise and Cry of the Canariums. Opponent spirals. Looking for help. Looking for help. <sighs> That's a good one. I did get to draw two cards, but it's still a good one. Okay. Unfortunately for our opponent, our draw steps have also been what they would call good ones. Now the Ebon Legion becomes a 3-4. And again, we are above expertise, above Cry of the Canarium. Our opponent has no copies of Extinction Event. So they have to use Spot Removal to handle this, which is why Shape, uh, Shape of Sanctuary is so good. Crassus for four means you are dead, I'm afraid. So we eat our own Aspirant. This becomes a 6-6. Six, six. We untap. We Noxious Grasp this. And we kill our opponent. Game 3. Game 3 for the 5-0. and oh. uh, I don't change my configuration in this matchup. Stays the same. Come on, I want this. 
I want this 5-0 and with the brew. It means I can afford to lose the last one and still make top four. Otherwise, it's, an, it's a win and in. Which is rough. On the draw for the first time this match. Losing game one is, is pretty impactful, unfortunately. That's a hand. Opponent kept. Um, I really hate mulling against the thoughts these decks. I really do. I don't think this is good enough, though. Pretty sure it has to go. Okay. Sure. Please don't thought seize me on turn one, or I am in trouble. Am I taking five to thought seize them? I think so. They kept the cry. I suppose that's a bit better on the play. I can play around it. I'll take the Nissa. Opponent does not have a growth spiral. We do draw a third land, which is lovely to see. Got to be very careful with our life total, though. Though this is going to get very painful very quickly. Going to cast this as a two-two, so that I can try and get it out of cry range next turn by using Luminar Aspirant. Opponent cycles. Playing very fast and loose with our life total, that's the problem. Punch snaps off the cry this turn. I, I guess I'm pretty happy about that. Let's cast an aspirant. See what these four draw steps have been for my opponent. We are out of information at this point. Snaps off a main phase growth spiral. Interesting. All right, all right. That's something. Gonna get the aspirin itself out of cry of the canarium range. I obviously still can't beat it yet, he's expertise. Uh, I'm pretty sure I lose on the spot to it if they have it. But uh, there's there's basically nothing I can do. Just have to play like it doesn't exist. They have a total of two. Yeah. Can have two. Can also just cast a 4-4 Crassus here, which will be pretty good. Yep. It's not bad either, to be fair. What's going on over there? Nope. Doom Whisperer can leave the battlefield as far as I'm concerned. Four. Five, I think.
think it looks like this. God damn it! Ah! That row is so good. Bruh. Ah! I hate this card. Fuck off. That's so brutal. We get bogged. Uh, kind of matters, I guess, but not massively. We're on seven. Two cards. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I can do 12 damage. Pretty sure that's what I'm doing. Five, six, seven, eight. I can't put counters on the thing that can get ether gusted. Three cycles to four. I really gotta hope they can't bring that back. You're on two. Go. Don't kill me. Oh, God, chat. Chat, I'm sweating. Don't have a Fable Passage. Don't you dare have a Fable Passage. Doesn't matter. Matters. Oh no! Ah, how do you have a fatal push? Ah! <laughs> That's so much bullshit. I can only attack for four. <sighs> oh my God, the fatal push. God, the push. It had to be push. To have the mana to bring it back and put the last card in the graveyard. Wow. Pulse is irrelevant at this point. Pulse doesn't matter. Come on. Come on.
Oh! Oh, come on! Oh. What a game. What a game. Oh, I think my, my melee client broke. <laughs> Hi, Awoken Giant. Thanks very much for stopping by and uh, and saying hello. Uh, I, I apologize for the fact I wasn't able to interact during the game. I was obviously trying to uh, stay focused uh, during the event. So yeah, um, that was... Um, you know what? I'm not even mad. I know I was quite vocal about my expressions during the game, of course, because it was really back and forth and, and, and razor wire. Um, but that was an incredible game. Uh, I'm not even mad. That was incredible to play. I really, really enjoyed navigating that one. Really tough game. Really tough game. Thanks again for the follow, by the way, uh, Woken Giant. I appreciate that. We fall to four and one, which does mean, unfortunately, uh, we're going to be playing a winning in next round.